In the year 1920, in a small village called Kumadavalli, in West Godavari district of Andhra Pradesh, Srimati Bucchi Rajeshwari Garu and Sri Venkata Narsimharaj Garu were blessed with a child. He was none other than Dr. Bhupati Raju Visam Raju Garu. His enthusiasm to prove himself with an unending quest for higher education made his mother Srimati Bucchi Rajeshwari Garu to pledge her gold to finance his educational journey from his hometown to Banaras Hindu University and graduate in chemical technology in the year 1941. He was also awarded with a management degree from the Harvard University of the United States of America. While everyone judged him to be an educationist, destiny had other plans for this gentleman. His childhood habit of working hard and his perseverance made him excel in each and every job that he undertook. He proved himself in the field of cement industry and carved a remarkable niche for himself. Eventually, he was made the Chairman and Managing Director of the Cement Corporation of India. Under his dynamic leadership, cement sector witnessed enormous growth in India and made him to be fondly remembered as the doyen of the Indian cement industry. In recognition to his efforts in uplifting the cement industry, in 1977, the Government of India had conferred him with the prestigious Padma Shri Award. Then he started Rasi Cements in 1979 and went on establishing many industries such as Vishnu Cements, Rasi Refractories, Rasi Ceramics and many more. In his lifetime, he established 35 industries and provided livelihood to many families. He also received an honorary doctorate from the Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University for his vigorous performance in the cement industry. After his retirement, he decided to do something for his homeland. He believed that education would be the key tool to bestow upon the children at his place to bring a major change in their lives. Hence, the seed to establish educational institutions was sown which grew up to be the tree called Sri Vishnu Educational Society. Since inception, the Sri Vishnu Educational Society has been continuing to provide qualitative yet affordable education to empower thousands of children and their families. A journey of thousand miles starts with a single step. Many people had their own apprehensions about starting educational institutions within rural areas. But his mountainous zeal made Dr. B. V. Rajagaru go on and turn his belief, if your thoughts are good, then your deeds will also be good, into an acceptable reality by transforming, inspiring and nurturing lives through education. He believed education and social service were the efficient tools for social uplift. Towards this endeavor, he adopted many schools in the surrounding areas of his birthplace and transformed them into the happiest places of learning. His ancestral property was converted into Dr. B. V. Raju Knowledge Center to facilitate education for all in the remote areas. He made sure that no area was untouched. He also adopted leprosy patients and underprivileged people who were being ignored during the times in society and changed their lives by providing good quality health care, housing infrastructural facilities through Dr. B. V. Raju Foundation.
His relentless efforts had converted bare lands into the most exciting educational institutions at Bhimavaram, Andhra Pradesh and Narsapur, Telangana. Dr. B. V. Rajugaru was passionately driven by his belief, serving to mankind is serving to God. His sense of social responsibility was an endless battle. In recognition to his remarkable services to the society, he was bestowed with the Padma Bhushan Award by the Government of India in the year 2001. The great personality and the social visionary left this world in the year 2002 at the age of 82. The institutions that were initiated by him are flourishing with exceptional results under the able guidance and leadership of his grandson Sri K. V. Vishnu Rajgaru who shares the vision of his grandfather. Meeru koru kunna pragati Meeru kalalu kanna jagati Meeru koru kunna pragati Institutions will outlive individuals and Dr. B. V. Raju even today is among us through the institutions that he built and the services that he rendered. As the American actor Brendan Lee once said, Immortality is to live your life doing good things and leaving your mark behind. Dr. B. V. Raju is truly an immortal. He is the true karma yogi and the son of soil. The missile man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, during his presidentship visited Sri Vishnu Educational Society campus and paid tributes to Dr. B. V. Raju for all his services to the society. The main road from Bhimavaram town to the Sri Vishnu Educational Society campus was named as Dr. B. V. Raju Marg by the government of Andhra Pradesh. In short, Dr. B. V. Raju's life is a true dedication to the society.